so I um, broke my arm yesterday. It's really hurt painful. It kind of hurts. <laughs> and I've learned that it's pretty tricky to do things without a right arm, right? Like brushing my teeth with my left. I real I like my wrist was so sore from just brushing. I didn't realize how much muscle that took. You know, trying to cut a line today was really tricky. Um, there's just all sorts of things that you don't realize you need your right arm for. It's kind of embarrassing how I broke it too because I decided to go rollerblading yesterday and I hadn't gone for a while, but I just kind of felt like doing something that would be fast and would get the wind through my hair. I was feeling pretty pumped. I just watched our church's general conference, which just has really inspiring speakers. They're speaking today again if you want to watch, but that just made me feel like, okay, I can do these things that I've been feeling inspired to do, but um, are way over my head. But if I have Heavenly Father helping me, I can do this. So I was feeling all inspired and ready to go and feeling like I need to go do something fast and get my thoughts in order. And so here I am. I haven't done it for a while, so I'm kind of shaky at first, but then I get going and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm dodging people. I'm feeling like, you know, life is great. And then after rollerblading for a while, it's time to get back to my car. And I'd parked kind of a little ways down the hill. Um, it wasn't very far, but just far enough, I guess, to get going pretty fast. And so I kind of turned and I thought I should probably take my roller braids off down this hill because I'm obviously not experienced and I don't know how to break very well. But I thought, well, the car's pretty close. I can just stop myself with the car. And so I get going on the hill. I get going a little too fast. And I'm like, oh, no, here it goes. And I stop myself with my car, but my wrist kind of bent backwards. And that's how I broke my arm. So here I am. Um, and some kind of cool lessons I learned from that experience, but I'll talk about that in a, a minute. I wanted to share with you some of the things. I was going to type this all out this morning and send out an email, but typing is also really difficult with a broken arm. So I decided to do this live instead, and I'm hoping to get my thoughts clear to you guys because I'm really excited about all these things that I want to help with and have been inspired to do. And so I was on this hike on Thursday with a group of youth. Um, I went actually, I was on two hikes with two different groups of youth on Thursday. And one of the questions I asked them as we were discussing, I like to do these discussion hikes where I give them a piece of paper and then they um, discuss it and then I trade them partners and then they I give them another discussion question and then they discuss that. So we were discussing Mother Teresa in chapter three of my book that is about motives and why you do what you do. And so we're talking about some of those things as we're hiking up. And when we got to the waterfall, I let them play in it for a little while and they had a good time and then I gathered them and I said, okay, so from all our discussion today and thinking about your motives and why you do what you do and Mother Teresa and why she did what she did, um, what is a problem that you see in the world that you want to help fix or that you wish that you could help with? And they had some really insightful answers and you could tell that they had actually thought about these things before. And one of them said um, mental health problems, another said, broken families. Another said prejudice when someone hates another group for no reason just because they're in that other group. Um, they had just some really cool things. And I said, you know, you don't have to wait till you're older to start working on some of the things. You could start working on them now and thinking of ways that little things you can do that can help with what you see. You know, it can be getting on video or sharing um, some writing or talking to your friends or teaching a class or things like that. And I had them just start thinking about some things because we're going to be working on a project to help in the causes that they have. And um, one of the things that I also told them is that a lot of times we can find out what our gifts are and what our talents are by noticing the things that bother us, by noticing the um, problems that really get under our skin and that we really want to help with. And that gives us some hints into what our unique unique contribution can be to the world. And so I told them that mine is something that seems to bother me a lot is when I see people not living up to their potential because they don't understand who they are and what they're capable of. And I know the world suffers when a person doesn't see that and they just distract themselves and move along with what everybody else expects them to do. And I also think it's kind of a cultural problem because we do tend to grow up in this um, check off the boxes of somebody else's expectations, right? We, we get this done, get this done, get this done, and then we can go and do other things. But we're just always trying to meet others' expectations, and we kind of tend to carry that into adulthood. Um, after we leave that, we tend to start, you know, we're still checking up boxes of others' expectations, of the cultural expectations, um, you know, these sometimes false expectations we put on ourselves. 
And we don't stop often enough to really dig deep and think, what is it that I really feel inspired to do? What is it that, um, even if it's going to look different than my neighbors, the kind of lifestyle I need to have in order to accomplish those things that mean the most to me and that my talents are, that the gifts I've been given are for. And so that's why I wrote the book that I wrote and why I do these programs and, and I'm teaching these classes is because that bothers me so much that I want to help people really understand who they are and make systems and habits and frameworks in their life that help them zone in to their work and to um, lift their family, making their own unique contribution to the world um, so that they can be happy and creative and, and uh, in this constant hamster wheel of expectations and do 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 and you know the feeling you know I, I get it sometimes and I forget is just this you know constant I have way too much to do and I don't know how to get it all done or you know if sometimes if well I think all moms probably tend to be more that way um, but there's also the like as soon as I get all these things done then I can do what I want and just relax and sometimes you know that's also um, not great because we've been blessed with so much and we've got to find ways that we can we will be happier too if we can find the contribution that we can make instead of just cruising through life. So um, I wanted to share that with you because I'm, as I've been thinking about that in my Facebook group, I decided to do some things a little bit differently and I want to invite you to come and do them with us. But I'm going to start doing a challenge a week and it's going to go along with the, with the book I wrote and it's going to help you start to see your motives, start to see what it is that you fear and why and how you can overcome those things because fear isn't the enemy and a lot of times we think it is. A lot of times we have anxiety um, because, hi Teresa, because we um, think that fear is bad. And so we need to understand that it can help us. It's what helps us grow. So anytime we step out of our comfort zone a little bit, that's the zone of growth and that's where we start to become who we need to be and we need to do that a little bit each day just get out of our comfort zone and so these challenges are going to help you do that um it, there'll be different levels in the challenges so i'll give you a challenge and i'll say you know you can get out of your comfort zone you know at this level or this level or this level and you can choose the one that's best for you that gets stretches you just to the point where you're not in panic mode um and so this these weekly challenges will there's going to be six units at the top of my facebook group well, it'll be a little tab that says units and under it there will be six challenges and there will be like three tasks under each challenge. And each week as you complete them, then I'll invite you to a little um, Zoom meeting where we can discuss what we learn. And then I'll do a little live where I'll share the next challenge and um, why it's important and you can ask questions. And then um, we'll work on it through the week. We'll share with each other what we learned and then we'll do the little Zoom meeting. So I'm kind of excited. I'm excited to start creating this tribe of women. I think I need to surround myself with um, friends who are also trying to challenge themselves and grow and who are trying to lift their families and and make their contribution to the world as well and prioritize their lives in a way that helps them do that. And so, um, and then also to use our, our gifts to help one another because as we work together, we can, um, what's the word I'm looking for, um, complement each other's talents and, and even share a message in a more complete way because we're helping one another do that. So that's the other end goal that I'm hoping to achieve with this. Um, I'm going to have those six units on that group. And then if you once you finish those challenges, then I'll invite you to another group that has six more. And those are the ones that help you earn your compass emblem. And so if you are at all not familiar with the way I teach or the program that I have, there are seven emblems that you do challenges to receive. And they each represent a certain area of your life and the way that you are moving through your life that helps you. So let me explain. I'll just give an example. So the compass emblem is the one that helps you see how to get clarity and direction in your life and how to live that way daily and check in and make sure that your goals, because as you move forward, your goals will change, right? You'll have a greater vision. It's like moving up a mountain at first. You think, oh, that's where I want to get to. And you get there and you see a more beautiful view and that's more complete and you realize, oh, I actually want to get there. And so to help you learn how to clarify that as you go and to have a more clear vision, and like, like I said, overcome your fears and see your motives and make sure they're in alignment so that you can have a very clear vision that's going to make you happy. That's not just going to take you to something that's 
then I leave you empty in the end. And then um, the map, um, um, the map emblem is what comes next, and that also has six, six challenges that go along with it. And that one helps you um, create a summit phrase, is what I call it. So basically, find the characteristic, and you learn how to find that characteristic through the challenges that you want to work on, and and then you live, you put things in your life that help you be able to reach that vision. And so you have a summit phrase that you remember and that you recite each morning and it helps you reach and pull you towards that vision that you have for your life. And then the next one is your, I'm going to make these, these little boot camps is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have these different boot camps that you get these emblems with. And so um, after that is your armor, which helps you learn how to be inspired as well as be inspiring to your family and others. Um, and then you move on to your um, shield, which helps you take control of your thoughts. And then your weapon, which helps you take care of your body and respect it. Then we move on to resources, um, which help you acquire the, the time and resources you need to accomplish the things that you've been feeling inspired to do. Um, then there's also the, when the, create the environment that you need that has those things. And then there's combat skills, which help you um, develop your gifts and talents so that you can bless the world and um, and make your unique contribution. So there's those seven emblems that we're working on, but there's six challenges in each. Um, the first one with the Facebook group I'm in right now is kind of like the prep. I guess I could call it like a boot camp or something. I haven't decided what I'm going to name it. If you have any ideas, I'd love to hear them. But then, then you move on to accomplishing these things. So if it's something that sounds exciting to you and something that you want to be a part of, then I encourage you to um, join that Facebook group. If you can't find it, just go to my website. Um, actually, you should go to my website anyway because it helps you sign up and then you'll get emails that remind you and that help you keep track of where you're at. So um, just go to my website. There's a little picture on there that has an orange um, square in the middle that says start here. You just start there and then you can type in your email and then you can get started that way. Um, so hi, Nicole. I, I broke my arm um, rollerblading. I talked about the beginning so you can go back and, and watch this live at the beginning and I'll share my embarrassing experience with how I broke my arm. But um, does, does that, this all make sense? Let me look at your comments. I think that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to write them, and I'll go back and answer them later. Um, let me just make sure I didn't forget anything I wanted to say. I don't think so. I think I got it out. So um, we're, we start next week. We start Monday. And so I hope you'll tell your friends, if anybody else is interested, that would like to do this with us. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really excited to um, just get this group of women around me that will help me and that I can help be able to have a clear vision and reach our goals in all of these different areas. So um, thanks for listening, and I will talk to you later. Have a happy Sunday.